Welcome to Present Poetry, a podcast where we sit back, relax, and enjoy some poets of the past and present. I'm your host, Erin Crittenden, and before we get started on this week's episode, I want to remind you that all of the material used in this podcast is either public domain or used with permission from the author or the author's estate. It's a fun time for all ages, so sit back, relax, and get ready to hear this week's featured poet. This week's featured poet is Patricia Walsh. Patricia Walsh was born and raised in the parish of Morn Abbey, County Cork, Ireland. She has previously published a range of poetry across Ireland, the UK, and the US, and she has one collection of poetry, Continuity Arrows, with Lapwing. She also has two novels, The Quest for a Lost Ira and In the Days of Ford Cortina, which were published in 2013 and 2021, respectively. A further novel, Hell for Beginners, is scheduled for release in 2024. We are reading some of her newest poetry, which she emailed to us. This poem is called Collapsing into Tears. Not even born at the time of your apogee, comfortably seated at the crack of midday, arranged at waterfalls not dictated at will, the necessary puncture draws all that is sweet. Limitations of form may not be reserved, being wet under orders, a gospel design, flattered through intrusion, unexpected ire, running downstairs, a hearty delusion." Clinging to a security, twirling to a station, ample funds a given to keep soul together, roaming the capital to bring gifts to exiles, lost in tears the handcrafted myopia. Not criticized enough, the season remains the same, the easiest thing to make, rolling in the shadows. Capitulated weight loss on an open plan, the tame rights with you rested eventually. This violent sickness demands an apology. Transgender holiday, needlessly effortless. The happy toy box brimming with satisfaction. Kings and queens of the alcoholic binge. Cemented wives overhung with preferment. Brick by brick in their solid plagiarism. Taking everyone's jobs to the point of convenience. Amusing the harder stuff. Collapsing into tears. This poem is called Modernization. Painting carefully the last of the craft, latest fashion in the wind, a hard station, the sickening perfection rolls along granite, localized jet lag, performing persistent calls, taking time over groceries, delivery being good. The dishonest acquisition, food as strategy, seeking to go home, a fulfilled prophecy, Cigarette expenses, a walking paradise, a slave to the grand master going out of doors, not being another way, walking from type. Ground being stood on, being the real girl, proficiency in a hardened band through the trees, read out from the rule book, acquiescing forever, granted for being taken, seated upstairs, cracked onto with rapid fire questions, typical. Taking guns out at will, firing on all cylinders, real advertising beloved of what is stale, preferring the same boxes that cry on orders, cue conversations cut short on arrival, coffee going cold before you can even talk. Drinks being advertised, called on the street, eating and sleeping necessary for under orders, the complimentary exclusion eventually decided, The kissing of trophies in soaring expectations, being bad at this job is nearly par for the course. This poem is called Attenuated Breakfast. Supposing the beds make themselves, so what? Fashionable glucose winds through decision. 
credit being right, loving and attentive, the classy hidden wife gone to speed, the crass decisions strangleholding the celebrity. Singing for the moon through patchy drizzle, a glorious suicide not called for, as said, going where loved, concentrate on the music, unlimited genius calls shots on eventuality. Being careful what you wish for, weeping over orders, the angle grinder sings over a joyous book. Comforting software sleeping, the arrogant sly, cancelling dates for this, dissenting heroes, shouting the events at a beloved twist. Painted graces superlative over fashion, glorying in the breakup running over again, trite explanations of situations running sore, the gods not knowing what is going on at all. Left unattended, an itinerary for disaster, thinking what is best for the situation, perhaps, dropping significant balls on playful stations, the license wrought on a lifetime of shuffle, readily home, repeatedly watching itself sweet. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of the Present Poetry Podcast. If you enjoyed the show, feel free to like us, leave a review, or share us on social media. If you are a poet or you know someone who is, we would love to hear from you. You can reach out to us or submit your work through our website, which is www.present-poetry.com. Again, that is www.present-poetry.com. We can't wait to hear from you.